Hey guys, it's Kyle again, and this is the Grand Assailant variant for the XRK Stalker in Modern Warfare 3. We've got another Battle Pass variant. This is the best one. It's the best one. Don't care what anyone says. It's so good. The Stalker is such a good looking sniper that this is just any variant just looks amazing on it. Even the bad ones. It's in Sector 20 of the Battle Pass. I mean, what looks better than this? All the variants this season just look amazing. So yeah, we're going to get into some gameplay of this Stalker variant. And as always, guys, if you enjoy the variant videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Now, this variant's a bit tricky because they've changed quite a few attachments. This variant doesn't come with a barrel when you take it off and put on the ADS barrel. It changes the way it looks, but from first person, doesn't make that much of a difference. It comes with a suppressor, makes the damage range better, doesn't decrease the ADS speed. If you care about aesthetic, you can keep this on, but I don't really care for it. It. obviously you can't take off the optic because it changes it this one's not that bad but you can't put on a laser the ads speed on this class is good enough regardless you can't see the stock from first person so you can use any stock you want to to be honest i didn't use no stock today because it makes the idle sway on this scope terrible that's why i use this one and again if you care about a stack don't put on a rear grip but i don't really care so i put on this so yeah that's pretty much the class guys these are the perks i always use and yeah guys enjoy the video all right so we've got the variant here just look at it just i don't like this scope with the variant but we're putting up with it for the video oh no they don't so i've got a little fact that i want to talk about today and it's to do with versus videos the videos where i compare guns to each other Come on. Now the first time I ever compared two guns to each other in a Call of Duty game. The first time ever was when I compared the Kordai Black Ops 4 to the P90 in Modern Warfare Remastered. I liked making that video because back then I was trying to get into Saw. Get fucked! Omni movement in Black Ops 6 is going to make doing stuff like that so much easier. Yeah, the Kordai versus P90 video, that was something I did during Black Ops 4. But I started doing more versus videos during Modern Warfare 2019, where I compared Modern Warfare Remastered guns to the Modern Warfare 2019 guns. Like the M4 versus the M4, P90 versus P90. Those videos didn't get that many views. The thumbnails for those videos were a bit awful. Yeah. But when I started making videos comparing the Modern Warfare 2019 guns to the Black Ops Cold War guns to the Black Ops Cold War guns, that's when things really started picking up. I still remember to this day when I woke up one morning, I think I compared the M4 from Modern Warfare to the XM4 on Cold War. I remember it getting something like 500 views overnight. That had never happened before that many views. I woke up thinking, what the fuck? How the fuck that happened then? And then I started making videos comparing the snipers on Warzone. I compared guns like the snipers when Vanguard came out. Modern Warfare 2, I compared the Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 guns. And they just, those videos didn't do well at all. I don't normally play a second game, but I'm playing one because I want to talk about this. So a lot of you guys won't know the story, but when Modern Warfare 2 came out, my videos were doing terrible. Season 2 came out, I started doing the videos on the Battle Pass variants, and all my content since then has just stayed the same. It's just been good. It's been fun making videos, and I carried on doing versus videos. Like with the DLC guns, and those videos got a lot of views. They're some of my best performing gun versus gun videos. And obviously the same thing happened with Modern Warfare 3 with the sniper versus videos. If you guys want to see the versus videos, I have a playlist of all of them. And we've continued the same thing where I'm just doing versus videos on the DLC guns now. And on the new aftermarket parts as well. But basically that little fact that I wanted to talk about... The fact is that I've uploaded over a hundred gun versus gun videos on this channel now. I realize I've done it a lot. So often that I've only just realized when learning this a few weeks ago. I've uploaded over a thousand two hundred videos. Now a lot of them I very much would like to delete and make private because they're shit. A lot of my older videos are very bad. Some of them haven't even got any titles or thumbnails. A lot of them don't even have actual titles and thumbnails.
But yeah, I have over 1,200 videos. I've uploaded over 100 versus videos, which means one twelfth of all the videos I've made over the years are gun versus gun videos. Now, I know that's not like a massive ratio, considering that not including those videos, I've uploaded over 1,100 or near that number. I just find that statistic to be insane to me. The fact that I've uploaded that many. I have thought several times over the years about deleting pretty much every video I've uploaded before Modern Warfare 2019. Because back in the day, I used to use Share Factory on PS4 to edit videos, and I didn't even start doing that until like World War II or Black Ops 4. Everything before Black Ops 4 is just full games, uncut unedited no proper titles and no thumbnails at all even all the videos in black ops 4 and modern warfare the thumbnails were shit i'd go back and delete half of my modern warfare videos i was planning on going through everything last year but i never got round to doing it it's definitely something i want to do in the future Just have a clear out of all the videos that are so bad that not one single person would go back and watch it. The weird thing is for how poorly presented the videos are with the thumbnails, there is one specific video, only one, that still gets views to this day. And it's a video of me using the lever action sniper from World War II. And the weird thing is, I've gone back and watched that video. I literally don't show how to unlock it. And it's gotten me thousands of views over the year. And people are searching for how to unlock the lever action on World War II. And for, and for some reason, people are still to this day coming across my video out of all of them. Very weird. Yeah, I've gone on a pretty big rant about my old videos, but... It feels nice reminiscing about the old times and the old videos despite how bad they were. I just wanted to talk about it. I just find it crazy that I've uploaded 100 gun versus gun videos and that is 1 12th of all the videos I've uploaded over the years. No, you people that swap to snipers, I respect it because you want to have fun and compete against another sniper. But why are you whipping out a knife? How shit do you have to be to try and prove that you're better than me and then fail so miserably? Like, yeah, you killed me, but not the point you were trying to make, was it? Hello. Oh, the five second kill feed. Oh, the five second kill feed. It could have had some beautiful. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next video.